Okay, so hi guys, this is Miss Lollipop and welcome back to another episode of the Sims 4 Not So Berry Challenge. So today we are back with Amelia and in the last episode, or since the last episode should I say, um, a few months have passed specifically, okay? So in the last episode we actually had Rowan age up into a toddler. So he obviously is now a toddler and it's been a few months from then and Amelia is actually pregnant. Um, she got herself pregnant again. I played through, you know, a few a few months off of screen um so you know a few things have happened i just worked on her skills and worked on her job and stuff like that so she's ready to, nearly to get a promotion um i worked on all of her skills and stuff so all of that stuff i was working on and her and um her boothing jesse decided to get pregnant again so she currently is in her second trimester of her pregnancy which is really exciting for her because obviously she is looking to have a really big family so that is something that she's really looking forward to and obviously now that rowan is a little bit older and he's a toddler i feel like it's a good time to do it um i'm pretty sure you guys did see his makeover in the last episode but just in case i did it off screen um this is what he looks like i don't i don't think i did i don't i do think you guys saw him but just in case and then we've also got um mr falcon over here as you can see him where is he oh okay that's lovely that's just a lovely way to wake up um yeah this is what falcon looks like he's looking really cute again obviously all of them have got their red hair because it's their super aesthetic they've got going on um so everyone's waking up our little girl um our little girl phoenix are just cleaning up so she's doing really well and she doesn't have school today which is good but she does need to go do her homework and the same with falcon who is actually watching tv in his mum and dad's bedroom and just woke them up and uh nothing's really going great for amelia right now i'm pretty sure she just felt the baby kick she is hungry um and also she has a headache so overall amelia's just really not having a good day but obviously, she is in her second trimester, so she is going to be ready to head to the gynecologist and go and get that baby scan, as we always do, to put up on the wall. So we are going to do that in this episode, so we can head on off with her. Um, I really want to see what she's having. And also, I decorated Rowan's room, and this is what it looks like. He's gone for a black and red aesthetic, obviously, because obviously, we go for the red over here, because all of the next generation will be the red generation, so I wanted to, you know... That's basically why. I made all the kids' hairs red. Um, so yeah, this is his room and he's even got his little name on the uh, on the wall there. So yeah, everything everything is good in the hood in this family. Everything is always normally like really peaceful with this family and they are just like the sweetest little things ever. So I normally just don't even mind coming into this Let's Play because they're all so chill that we all just get on really well. So yeah. I'm going to have Jessie take a bubble bath and then um, once Amelia's finished her breakfast, we can have these guys head on off to the gynecologist to find out what she is having. Uh, that sounds something like she would do. Oh my god, look at her turning back up in her like gown that she was wearing. So let's go upstairs to the um, place where we always put our little scans and let's see what she has got. Okay, let's pop that up there. Okay, that looks a bit different. <laughs> Oh, let me just make it a bit bigger. Oh my god. Did you guys just see that? There is two babies there That is twins. Okay, the patient named above is pregnant with twins It will most likely be one boy and one girl Okay, so I suppose Instead of this being our fourth baby, this is actually our fourth and fifth baby. So Amelia is actually pregnant with a set of twins. We have a massive nursery to get ready, but I cannot believe that she is pregnant. That is so exciting for her. Um, she does need to work on her mystery skill, which I did actually have her get up to level eight whilst I was gone. And so she literally just got it up, but her logic skill is also at level eight and she's about to hit level seven. So I might have her just come downstairs and actually just join um, Phoenix by playing a bit of chess. And then that way she can get her logic skill up because she does need to max it before we can move on to the next generation. So that is something that definitely needs to happen. Um, Jesse is finishing eating his food and then he can go use the toilet. And then what has he got to do? He needs to write some songs and earn some money from license songs. So I think he's got it in his inventory. Wait, where's he put the... Uh... Oh, where's he put it? Oh, no. Where has he put his guitar? Okay, he put it back down here. 
So can he write songs now? Play song. Lull to sleep. He can't even like write songs. Write jingle. Okay, well let's just try, let's just try doing that and see if it works. Um, he's actually got all of these things in his inventory. He must have been the one to pick them up. Oh my god. Okay, this might be the final one to the elements table. Okay, we've got a red one just here. Okay, it didn't go in. What about a pink one? I'm pretty sure it's going to be white though. Okay, none of these are going in. I'm pretty sure we've got all of these already. Oh no, I don't think we're going to be able to get any of these. No, literally none of these were available to us. Okay, these are going to have to be sold because none of these were our missing one. So these have got to go off, unfortunately. We are so close to find that last one. I don't know what that one up uh, what that one up in the corner is. Like, I can't, like, you know, I can't uh, make it out. But it does look white because normally they have, like, these colours here, as you can see. So they indicate, like, what colour the element would be. And this colour of the element indicates that it would be white. So for some reason, I feel like uh, we should be having a white element. So... Um, if we could have Amelia, has she got any of them on her? She actually has. Okay, well, I, I was thinking we would just send them all off anyways. But has she got any white ones in her inventory? She's got Albuster. I mean, maybe that is it? Okay, let's, um, let's uh, send to the Geo Council. And then that's like the only one that really I think it could be. Um, maybe this lilac one, this death metal one. Um... Other than that, nothing else is white. I mean, I don't know if the element has to be white before or, like, whether it turns... I, I don't even know, to be honest. Anyways, we'll have her send those off. And then in a second, uh, we can have you stop doing that and come and use the toilet. And then we can have Phoenix head on off to her cute little kids club that she's about to go to. To go and use her new void critter packs that her mum and dad got for her. So I'm really excited for that as well. Um, okay, the gathering has started for the kids club, which is super excited about. Um, let's quickly go and discuss our interest with Mrs. Yang over here. And then also give her a quick hug and talk about school and stuff. And then we will head on over to these little kids play areas. And let's go and train up a void critter. Oh, okay, okay. Let's go and do... Um, mm -mm -mm. We want to use one of the uncommon, uncommon ones. So let's do, yeah, let's do Cyprin. Okay, that was the first one that we ever got. Let's go and see if we can train up our Void Critter before we do anything with them. And then we can battle them and see if we can, um, see if we can get Phoenix to win anything. And obviously her club's doing really well. Um, I'm wondering what the next thing we should actually get them would be. Uh, capacity upgrade. That would probably be quite good. How many she got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be helpful if we could get... Um, if we could get up to seven sims in there, but there's a few other things that would be quite cool for them to get So rocket skill, so this would be quite cool if we could have them like improve their like, um, logic skill or their like video game skill faster And um, that would be quite cool. And what are they? Stronger flirty? Okay, well we don't need any of that. It's a kids club, okay? This is for children, right? I mean, you never know when it turns into a teenage club. Who knows what it's even going to go into? I don't even know what this will translate into. Maybe we'll just have them, like, go out and, like, just meet up and play some video games. But, you know, not void critters. I don't know. Right, let's go and see if we can train these void critters. So, I tell you what, I've actually had, like, the kids pack or whatever this, like, you know, whatever the pack this come with. I've had it for about, like, well, since it came out, actually. So, since this come out, I've had it. Never have even been on this like little void crosser thing. So I don't even know what's happening right now. I've actually I've actually never used it before. So it looks really cute so far. I don't know what she's doing. I think she's battling or practicing her battles. I don't know which one is hers though. I think that one's ours, isn't it? Cyprin. It appears she's losing. Is that is that is that her one? Yeah, yeah, that is. Okay, this is Cyprin. So the more Cyprin beats him up, the more she wins. Ooh, okay, she managed to get him, right? Or did he just block? I don't know. I want whatever this one is. This one looks cute. Wait, where's she got to go? Oh my god, she's got her scouting meeting. Oh my god, Phoenix. Okay, we need to call off the meeting. Okay, we, we've trained up enough. We've said hello to everybody. We need to actually call off the meeting. She's been here for like three hours already. Um, She's actually got a quick school meeting. Um, She's supposed to be at her meeting oh my god she was supposed to be there an hour ago and she completely missed it oh my god you're gonna get in so much trouble phoenix okay right she's gonna go off we're gonna head back home because i cannot believe we accidentally just didn't even realize <laughs> she's gonna get kicked out of scouts anytime soon she's doing pretty well though she's already up to like level two or something 
And it appears that it is snowing, which is really strange. Um, okay, Phoenix is now going off. Amelia now has a great reputation. Amazing for her. I'm really proud. She's actually just sitting in here with her huge pregnancy belly, guys. Do you see this? Her belly is honestly huge already. Or oh, she's in a second trimester with twins, so you expect it. Um, but Jessie has just headed off to work as well. So we are, have actually got the kids. Falcon is just standing out here. Um, I was thinking Falcon be could become a scout as well because obviously his sister will be dropping out soon. So I was thinking we'd have him join the scouting career. Um, or sorry, the scouting after school activity for him. That would be really good. There we go. So he can have um, a little scout board in his room. Um, as well as hers. So let's go pull that out so he can go and work on that. And has he got any badges that he can collect already? He hasn't actually. Okay, well at least he's got it. Um, he's got his homework as well. He can't do any extra credit work. Right, what is Rowan doing? Rowan is being taken care of. Oh, okay, him and the baby sister are just breaking it down over here. Um, we can actually have Amelia come over and dismiss the baby sister because I don't think we need him anymore because, um, you know, she's doing an amazing job. She can she can, uh, you know, have her pregnancy belly and also look after her current children as well. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to Mr. Manny-I. manny, -I. manny -I Okay. And then let's go use the toilet and have a shower. So I would love for Jessie and Amelia to head out on a date soon because I feel like we haven't had a date in a long time. But um, Jessie is actually supposed to be getting back from work at about 9 o'clock. So kind of late. Um, I swear he had family leave to take at some point. Oh, okay, he actually doesn't have any family leave to take just yet. Okay, well, he is going to have to wait. Uh, piano bar competition. It isn't easy to find piano bars these days, but Jesse is lucky like that. His sad, sweet melodies have everyone feeling all right until a former favourite comes back and claims uh, reclaims the bench for himself. Jesse can play this two ways. Offer to let him uh, play a set or tell him to move along. Ooh, okay. I don't want to be rude and tell him to get lost because he is like a former favourite. It's not really right to go in there and say that. But he is a serious musician, you know. He wants to... Uh, I, no, he, he's not like that. He'd seed the beat. He'd seed the bench. Well, this is nice of Jesse. Too bad the old timer forgets to give the piano bench back. Not to mention the bread in the jar. Maybe there's another piano bar somewhere. <laughs> Uh, maybe we should have told the guy to uh, move along, but that's fine either way. Right, you're gonna go take a quick shower and what were the- Oh my god, these guys are so cute! Oh my god, look at them, they're just like dancing together. You and your brother are so cute. Let's go make some funny faces with Rowan and also brighten his day as well. These guys are adorable, honestly. Love them so much. <laughs> Um, what is she up to? She's doing her extra credit work. We should probably go and congratulate her as a mother. Uh, we could also invite some people round, maybe. I don't know, maybe we should have her go to, like, a bar. I don't know, she's a bit pregnant, so she can't really do anything, can she? Like, she can't go... She, well, she can't go to a bar, basically. Um... She can go and do a bit of yoga. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's invite one of her friends. She's not too pregnant right now. You know, she's in her second trimester. So let's actually invite one of her friends out to the um, out to the spa. Who would want to go with her? Probably Anaya. I feel like Anaya is a lot more like a spa girl than Bailey is. Um, so I think we're just going to invite Anaya by ourselves today. Because we're already really good friends with Anaya. But we're not as good friends with... Um, Sorry, we're already good friends with Bailey, but not as good friends with Anaya. So we'll invite her out by ourselves. And we're going to have these guys head on off. Maybe Amelia can go and get herself a quick um, massage. Because I know her back must be hurting her from this pregnancy of twins, can I mention. So I feel like she should definitely have a nice break. You know, do a little bit of yoga and stuff. Maybe there's a yoga class going on right now. Okay, so Anaya has met us here. Oh my god, Anaya is hugely pregnant as well. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh my god. Let's share the big news, obviously. You guys are definitely going to know. I can't believe she's pregnant, though. Oh my god. Invite her to feel the baby, and then let's ask to feel her baby. And ask her baby's due date. This is so cute. They're going to be having their babies at, like, the same time. That is super cute, isn't it? And then ask her to feel her baby. There we go. Oh my god. These guys are so cute. I love them. Oh my god. Look at them. They're matching in pregnancy. Should we have a peek and see what she's having? Let's just have a quick, let's just have a quick look, hold on. MC Pregnancy. She's having a baby boy. Ooh, okay. And she is with Mr. Tom Tomlinson. Ooh, okay. 
there we go and i think we just asked her due date um and then maybe we should actually go for massages together because i feel like she's not going to be up for doing much especially in her third trimester so let's go and head on here can we um okay so apparently shirley is innocent Ooh. okay um let's just talk to her a little bit maybe evangelize evangelize the vegetarian benefits that's definitely something she would do you know have you tried have you tried going vegetarian you know have you tried it it's really good really good for the animals you know really good for your health and your body yeah okay she seems very into it that's good she agrees maybe vegetarianism isn't so intimidating as she thought mm, okay well she is you know she's she's completing what she wanted to but she is good is she feeling relaxed oh she is she's got the bubbles what else is she having an issue she's feeling insecure and she's also sweating profusely oh okay well maybe we should um Maybe we should take a quick break and come out here and do a little bit of yoga before she goes home. So let's go and do a quick, um, let's go and do an energy centering. Ooh, yeah, let's go and do an en energy centering yoga routine and then we can come and do a quick um, bath with some, you know, with some soaks and stuff and then we can have her head home. I feel like this was a really relaxing day for her, you know, she was out with her friends, she was just chilling, you know, pregnancy must be really hard for her. As you can see, she's literally got sweat dripping down her face. Uh, that is hilarious. <laughs> Okay, let's go and do a bit of that. Even with her, even with her huge stomach, you know, she's completely pregnant. She can still manage to get that leg up higher than I could ever, whether I was pregnant or not. Honestly, <laughs> I could still never do that. I could never even touch my feet either. Okay, there we go. So she finished with her little workout. So um, let's go and see if we can find a bath that's free. If they have one around here, I'm hoping they do. They probably do not. Like, let's be honest here. Um, okay, let's actually head out into one of these like little hotel rooms. I'm sure they won't mind if we just quickly squeeze in here, just have a quick bath because I'm sure it's going to be a lot going on when she goes home. So I'm going to go and have her maybe take a muscle relaxing soak because obviously it must be really difficult on her muscles, you know, holding that huge stomach up of hers. <laughs> She's actually so pregnant right now, but let's go and have her have a nice soak. She's got her little green mask on. Where's her cucumbers? <laughs> She needs her cucumbers on and then she'll be fully relaxed. Okay, so it is now the morning and Amelia has just wet herself outside the toilet because she was actually waiting for Phoenix to get off the toilet because apparently she could go downstairs. Um, I think we are actually going to have to go and have um, Amelia actually just quickly go and uh, yell at her a second just because she, um, you know, just because she was sitting on the toilet, she would not get off and Amelia ended up wetting herself because of it. Obviously, she was pregnant and she wasn't going to make it down the stairs before that happened. So we are going to quickly go and yell at her and tell her to go use the toilet downstairs. Your mum is pregnant. I cannot have you in the room. Go downstairs next time you need to go use the toilet. She is very emotional right now and obviously, you know, Phoenix, she didn't really like being told exactly what to do, but she does have a bladder infection, which I don't know if she managed to sell her mum, but she is trying to insult her mum back. Oh my god. Okay, she is actually trying to have a full conversation with her mum. She's trying to insult her back. Oh, Phoenix, you are going to get in so much trouble right now. Honestly, you are going to get in so much trouble. Parenting, teach to say sorry, forced to. Oh my god, okay. Um okay, maybe just maybe just leave it and go downstairs and so mum can mum can finish having a shower. Okay, well this is just not going great, is it? This is just not a great morning. Either way, when Amelia gets out, she can actually go ahead and hire the service so we can call over the adoption agency. And then um let's go ahead and have a look at some of the dogs that are available for us to adopt. Okay, so we have a Besenji. Okay. Um, we have a smooth fox terrier. We have a Jack Russell, um, a P Papillon. Okay. Uh, we have a Chow Chow, a curly coated retriever, an Alaskan Balamute, and a Greyhound. Uh, and then we've also got a few adult dogs: a, a Shih Tzu, um, a Cockapoo, um, an Australian Shepherd, and also a Western Terrier. So, um, who do I like the look of? I really like the look of Duke, the Alaskan uh malamune i also really like the name of um so that is a, a that's a mal okay duke is a mal i really like the idea of kia she is a chow chow and then also maybe an option of a smaller dog as well um let's try um oh who should we try 
Peaches looks pretty cute. I haven't even seen a Basenji before. So let's go and grab Peaches as well. I think that is good. We'll go ahead and order those and ask them if they want to come around. So we can obviously go ahead and inspect it and see which dog we bond with more. Because I want to, you know, I want to get a dog that we bond with the most. Um, and in the meantime, Jesse, you can actually go and serve up some breakfast. Let's go serve up some... Oh, no. Not that. Okay, French toast. Yeah, that's probably better because Amelia can actually eat that because right now, or sorry, last night, um, I accidentally fed her a microwave meal and she didn't like it because it actually had meat on it. So I didn't know that a microwave meal had meat on it, but hey, she actually hated me for it and ended up throwing up. So my bad. Um, I didn't actually mean to do that, but let's have a quickly go take out the trash before the um, adoption agency come in. And here are little doggies that we have the option of. So this is Peaches. Um, and then we've got Kia and also Little Duke over here as well. So let's um, give all of them a friendly introduction and see how all of them react. Um, oh, okay. It looks like Falcon is already bonding with Little Kia over here. So, okay. Duke seems to be a really, really lovely puppy. They seem to have gotten on really well so far. Falcon is really bonding, really, really bonding with little Kia over here. So that is really lovely. I feel like we should lean more towards Kia because obviously Falcon did love her. And what about Peaches? All of these dogs seem really friendly. Like sometimes there's always one that seems a little bit, a little bit interesting. Um, but it looks like um, Phoenix doesn't get on very well with Duke. Okay, well that's something to notice. What about, what about, um... What about Kia? Let's see if we can give um, Kia a friendly introduction and then also Peaches. Let's see if they like Little Phoenix. Okay, seems to be getting on well with Kia. And of course, um, we need... Oh, okay. What's he doing? He's having a quick introduction with Duke. He seems to get on really well with Duke. We might have to get two. We might have to get two of them. Oh, and she gets on really well with Peaches as well. Oh no! They all get on so well. Okay, Jesse. Right, let, let's see if Jesse gets on well with both of them. Okay, come over to Peaches. Give Peaches a friendly introduction. And where did little, um, where did little Kia go? Okay, come over to Kia. And then also give Kia a friendly introduction. I think we might actually adopt two. Um, I know you're not supposed to, but you know, if we like two, I feel like we should. Peaches, it seems really nice as well. I feel like Jesse has bonded really well with Duke because I feel like he's the only one who's really gotten on with him. So maybe we should get Duke, definitely. Um, but let, let's see about the other dogs. So probably between Peaches and Kia over the next one that we're going to get. So both of them seem to really like them. This is so difficult now. Okay, um, what about Rowan? Okay, last, last introductions is Rowan. Okay, Rowan. Let's give um, little Kia a friendly introduction. Let's see if Kia will give him a friendly introduction. I suppose the one that doesn't get on with a toddler is going to be the one that we don't go with. And Kia seems really, really playful and happy. So they're getting on really well. Peaches seems a little bit more nervous. She hasn't actually made herself at home just yet. She is sort of looking at the door. So I am kind of leaning a bit more towards Kia since she's already in the kitchen. She's already with the family. I feel like she is a lot more comfortable than Peaches. And I wouldn't want our little doggy to feel uncomfortable. And of course, we're going to gra grab Duke because I feel like Jesse like, would just give in instantly to little Duke because he's definitely gained a relationship and it, you know it'd be the little little man of the relation uh, little man of the um you know of the household so where is little duke duke with this toilet brush over here <laughs> i literally i'm i'm trying to search around for him okay here he is okay come over to duke um and let's go and quickly adopt him there we go and then rowan is over here he gets somewhere with peaches as well but i feel like since obviously kia has made better friends um, I feel like we are actually going to go for Kia as well. So let's come over here and actually adopt little Kia as well. And um, I really do love Peaches. I feel bad about not taking her, but I feel like she is a little bit less comfortable than the other dogs. So we are going to grab both of these guys. So let's go ahead and grab Kia. And I'm going to leave her name as Kia so you guys will get a chance to rename them. And then Jessie is also going to adopt duke as well so we now have both of these little pets oh my god i'm so excited for these guys oh my god look at our new little puppies <laughs> look how cute they are oh my god they're so cute she is absolutely adorable is she not oh my god she's literally the sweetest little thing and little duke over here let's go ahead and take a look 
Oh my God, he is super cute as well. I actually love these dogs so, so much. I can't wait to see what they grow up like. But of course, we've got two little puppies as well. And of course, Rowan gets on really well and he's just gonna go dancing. But um, I think we are going to have to say goodbye to Peaches. Unfortunately, I feel so bad about not taking Peaches, but I literally can't take all of them, can I? So it's not really an option. But I am going to go ahead and end the adoption evaluation and just take my two little puppies and say thank you very much for bringing them all round. I think I'm going to stick with my two choices because I can't take all of them. You know, maybe a later day if we want another one, we can. But I feel like these were our best options that we had and these were the ones that most felt most comfortable. So we have little miss chow chow over here and um duke was a uh balmune right w was he yeah he was a balmune something uh whatever they're called alaskan balmune i think but go ahead and leave some name suggestion for duke and kia in the um name suggestions below um or sorry in the comment section but if you guys like those names go ahead and also let me know um if you want me to keep them but if you guys have got some better name suggestions definitely leave them for me because i would love a cute little set um a pair it would be really nice if we could breed them maybe at a later day and get little Little fluffy Balmu, uh, little fluffy um, uh, Malmune, whatever, whatever they're called. Okay, I'm not even gonna try because I just know they're gonna be cute. Okay, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to go ahead and end this episode off here. So as always, if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get around to them as soon as I can. And if you are new, it would be awesome if you could subscribe because obviously it helps our little family grow. And if you just want to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button, you get notified every single time I upload, which means you'll never miss one of my uploads. And I think that is everything. So as always, I love you all and I'll speak to you in the next episode. Bye guys!